Alright guys, welcome this time, I'm going to teach you how to create a private server for Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail and Blue Archive. Just so you know, this is not a local host, this is just a private server via UKPS, that's why we are here in this website and I'm going to show you how to use it, how to create an account and everything. Just I'm going to leave the link in the description for the website and here we go. Just go there, register yourself, choose a new username, whatever. I have already an account, so just go here, log in. I do recommend that when you create your account, you immediately go and verify your email because inside the game, you will need a verified account in order to be able to use some commands inside the server so so yes that's the main reason why and well once you are here what you are going to do you are going to download the launcher uh, respectively for whatever the game is going to be to be the same so just come here get your impact you check the version and everything all the information here if you want to read it whatever you can do it yourself and you just go here download continue and of course you're going to get your setup I, I already have one so I don't need to do it once you're done installing UKPS a launcher you're going to execute the launcher as an admin because it will not let you execute uh, the launcher if you don't do it anyways so you, you, you will notice and well once you are here you are going to game settings you are going to choose the version you want to use course the channel global or china wherever you are of course you want to detect the directory for the game so you can choose here the auto detect option or if you have the the game on another folder or for some reason it doesn't detect the game you can do it yourself you just click, he click here and go there so once you are done with that you should check the, prox the proxy settings in case that the server doesn't work for you you should activate this one I did already try without the proxy and it worked for me so I won't be using it but you can do it uh, you can you can do it and try in case it doesn't work and that's pretty much it the other things is just uh, to execute the game and yes some other stuff you, you will not really need but in case you want to check it just go yourself and do it so here we go I'm going to start the game as before it's going to ask you the version the engine you're going to use in this case is grass cutter for Genshin Impact and the global one so launch the game and while the game is launching game you will want to log in of course before you go on, on login into the game you're going to go back to the website you are going to your account dashboard and you're going to check these two options allow login for everyone or allow login with current IP why is it? because when you try to login and you haven't choose any of these options it will not let you login and it will give you like two or three tries before uh, telling you like hey you will have to wait like five minutes or something like that so better you come here choose the option and go back to the game and choose the server you think you are closest to I already used this one before so I'm going back to this even the account dashboard tells you where did you store the last data so you can check there in case you forgot about something like that you can check here it will tell you and even I used before uh, Honkai Star Rail uh, account before but I don't have it anymore so I'm not showing that option it's not necessary I did actually let my character here so I'm going back to some other place like here so okay you will want to know where the commands for the game are so you will go to the website and you will see here the commands 
The common list for Genshin Impact is this one. So well, no problems. You will want to use whatever you want. The give all uh, command is pretty obvious. You will use it and it will take a lot of time before if you'd like to learn the proper etiquette, I'd be before you get everything, like 5 minutes or something like that. Anyways, we can try some stuff here. For example, I'm going to use some other character because I, I did already use the give all, uh, all right. Who's command, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't deploy the DTM. Here. Okay, once you are here, you will want to use the command. In case you don't see yourself um, the console or anything like that, you just go once again add a participant to the chat and you will see here there is a global chat and the console so this time i'm going to use a pretty one one command i think it, it was around here the energy recharge one it's a it's a good one so you can get uh, energy recharge copy the command and come here and paste it look i did get uh, the ultimate but actually i want to do something else something pretty funnier much funnier actually when you lose your way limited some energy altitude can bring some perspective and also limited stamina those two all right let's fly And as you can see, the commands are working. There is no like any mistake if you have all the lists in there. And just so you know, you can do bosses in the game, uh, play around and all that, but a uh, version can be pretty unstable or some things will not be working. You won't be able to do quest, which is a which is an uh, and downside downside well, from in this case but well, well what you can expect from a private server from a game that's been around for I don't know five years already anyways um, <laughs> did you, I will just let you watch for a while how I get some stuff or beat uh, some enemies maybe I use some other uh, command or if I get book or something like that, you will be able to see that too. So I'm going to shut my mouth and let you see the gameplay. Is it time to go? Con reporting for battle. Whatever you need.
thousand eons mine to dominate. Open fire. Locked on. Burn to oblivion. We have the advantage. Time to strike! Shall rise. Red from the sky. Have a taste of purgatory. 